So the Heart Project is and the Heart System is a very innovative system, which is gathering uh, the skills of uh, industrials, housing uh, holders, and also universities. And the idea here is to design a kind of holistic approach in order to renovate building. The difference with the classical renovation is we are not going step by step, but we are using a holistic approach in order to connect the elements between them. As an example, we are using the PV solar, for example, connect, connected to heat pumps. And also, all the uh, elements are managed by what we call a cloud-based uh, platform, which is interacting with the uh, tenants, and then we are gathering the information in order to improve the performance uh, daily. For the universities like, uh, and researchers like me, the expectation is to test new methodologies and new approaches to design and to construct and to renovate buildings. So we are retrieving data and also we are using this data in order to, uh, to improve the process of renovation. In this project, we are using two uh, in situ experimentation in Italy and in, uh, and in France. Almost 25 uh, dwellings in both uh, countries. And at the end of the project, we are expecting to prove that it works for social housing. But the same technology is uh, expected to be used in other, uh, in other sectors like uh, non residential for uh, office building, commercial building, or educational building because uh, the system normally should be the same, but adapted to the sector. We are expecting to spread this knowledge and this technology all over the different kind of buildings. The system normally should reduce by up to 80% the energy consumption. And uh, how we are expecting to do to do it and to reach this goal is to directly connect the uh, elements like heat pumps, like lighting and other usage to, to PVs and also to have storage. We have electrical storage and also thermal storage. So gathering all these performances, we calculated that we can save up to 80%. So the two case studies normally should prove that we are right. The whole challenge is to make it a large scale. So if we prove that it works on a real building uh, with real tenants, and uh, if you prove that we, it works under the climates of Lyon and the climates in, of Bagnolo in Italy, that will convince us that it will work in other uh, countries and other cases. Because it's not a laboratory uh, case, it's a real case, in situ case with real usage. The originality of this project is that all the dwellings are well monitored. We have sensors that monitor the temperature, humidity, CO2, and several uh, energy consumptions. So the challenge here is to deal with the data we are retrieving from this monitoring. Uh, we are using techniques like, like data mining and, and other to analyze and to give a feedback to the manager and to the tenants in order to improve the behavior and to advise them to adapt their behavior in order to reduce the consumption. The monitoring is very, very important to reach the goal I mentioned of 80%. Without this monitoring, I guess we can't reach it. There is an idea to develop uh, effectively apps uh, for phones or uh, pads and also to integrate it in the smart TVs. Uh, but what is the minimum information we can do is to put a, a screen in the common uh, area and also to uh, weekly send information by emails or by texts to the tenants. They will know how they are behaving, how they are impacting the energy consumption by receiving this information. 
but the idea here is the should not be uh, like uh, a big brother that is monitoring everything they are doing. So there is a kind of balance to find between monitoring and completely knowing what it is happening and communicating with the, uh, with the occupants.